Hello, so there are some questions about the rotative diode. Mainly, well, nothing specifically, but I'll just give a quick overview. This is a stereo headphone jack. As you can see, the right and left channels have been bound together. Also, the ground for it. The ground has also been tied to the shielding. So that ground is grounded there. And yeah, and the diode device is also tied into the same ground, which is that red and black wire. That's the ground. And I'll include the schematic that I used. I'm using a capacitor. And, um, one of the main problems was in the German to English translation it says 0.5 millihenry I'm not really good at math but it wound up being 500 microhenry and I went to Digikey and found some RF chokes that were the right value is what I used here. Now, before I bought these, I was looking up calculations to wind my own open air coil or air core coil, and it was doable, but the amount of time and effort to wind those coils I mean if I, I could have done it if I wanted but this was easier buying these because I didn't have wire this small the coil started winding would probably have been about half the size of this lid so anyway regular headphone jack right and left tied together to the output of the rod of diode. The ground is bound to the shielding, the ground of the output, and the circuit. So yeah, it's pretty easy. I've gotten good results, I guess. I don't really use it as much. As I would like to, but I don't really need to use it because everything else gives results. And there we have it. This is about, I want to say like two or three bucks. Five dollars at the shipping. More than enough. But so it's good to have stuff on hand. Here's the part number if anyone's interested. Five percent tolerance. Five hundred micro henries. Which I guess equates to 0.5 millihenries, but no one is really using millihenry. Very good. I got a pain. I don't like that guy. Yeah.